Hello guys, welcome to our Frank's tutorial video, Scorpio speaking. I will do a quick demonstration on how to install a bond reading of a paper. Yo, what's up guys, I'm, I'm just going to show you how to install and like use simply, like simple terms, how like how to use Valve Hammer Editor tool, specifically 3.14, no, no, no algebra, 3.4, that's the one. Yeah, so let's get started, just open up your internet browser open up Google, write in Valve Hammer yep, that's the one here Valve Hammer Editor 3.14 3.4 3.4 .4. No yeah, so just download it off anywhere well the first one will do yep, so let's just download this one you click on download now it will refer you to another site or another page, pardon me just click here download the zip folder, I already downloaded it yep, so, um, this is the one yep, yes so just install install it yep, well I'm not gonna install it the second time, I'm just gonna go through it just press next, next, next and then next again and obviously you will install it and then you'll get something like this you would double click obviously to open it up yeah, this is the editor tool. Just click on file. Oh, actually, wait, we have to set it up first. Options. Go to game configurations. Just like click on edit. You want to add a new configuration because you won't have any of these if you're new to it. So just write down anything CS 1616 or anything really. And then close it. And then here you just have to choose that one if it's not chosen yet. Game data files you have to go to your um, computer local disk then choose program files Valve, well it could be Counter Strike as well depending on what game you have like which which type, which version C Strike and then it should be here Half-Life CS FGD don't touch any of these, you don't have to. Game executable directory. It's the Valve or Counter Strike or Half Life folder. It's on your program files again. Well my one's called Valve, your one might call be called Counter Strike. So mod directory would be C strike, same for all, same for everyone. Uh yep. Da -de -da -da -de -da -de yeah, there is a C strike. Just click on C strike and OK. Game directory, which is the Valve, should be same for everyone. So let's click on Valve. Where are you, Valve? Not this one. This might be Counter Strike for yours. So Valve, this is the one. And RMF directory, you don't have to touch that. Build programs. My one's already. Yep, CS 1.6, 1.6. You have to choose game executable the game executable is HL so it would be in the same folder Counter Strike folder HL in the program files thing yep and the CSG executable would be let's just go up a few it will be in your program files Valve Hammer Editor tool yep tools and then CSG would be QCSG BSP would be QBSP, this would be this one, RAD. Basically, it's quite simple, but well, it does kind of confuse. And then, yeah, mum. Well, I'm gonna actually um choose this this folder. Place compile maps into this directory before running the game. Well, I'm gonna choose this folder, and let me just empty out the folder before doing anything. Yeah, so it's gonna create the map here, the BSP file. Yeah, so let's just choose, choose, choose. Yeah, desktop. Yep, yeah, my maps folder. Okay. Now and then the textures. From here, you have to choose textures, and basically these add word directories is basically inside your Counter-Strike C-Strike subfolder 
basically all of these are texture folders you can add all of them one by one or you can just add a couple depends which map you like like for example assault or of dust or anything like and also your valve folder you can add some liquids decal anything well I already da added some textures so I don't need to okay now we can get started new and then you choose your configuration we just made yep on the camera just choose 3d textured obviously it's going to be so we can see what we're doing here so let's just make a quick map just any any size blocks any size just and choose from here a decent I'm just going to choose a decent just for like, per, like you know to show you how to make it create object and there it is that's that is basically the block of wood we made or well, block of bricks we made oh, it's just a solid block um, just click on it I'm just going to make it um, carve, uh, no wait, make a hollow so we can play inside the game well inside the block I'm just making it like um, actually let's just make this let's just change the texture to the sky texture ok for some reason only one sky texture available you could probably add the other WAD folders or directories get more apply texture by click on the middle one here yeah so you'll get something a blue yeah a blue kind of block never mind the blueness or never mind the blue color when you're playing a game it will be clouds mountains etc around you like clouds on top etc let's add another block inside inside yeah inside so let's choose the block we made yeah here let's just make it on the ground kind of away from yeah like this and the um, away from the edges the reason we need to make a solid block around the play area is so no light escapes or basically the game doesn't work the map doesn't work pardon me yeah, let's just change the texture of this to blocks and then let's just prep I'm holding shift to copy this on top of it so when you select and copy well hold shift it just copies it itself and now um, I'm just gonna like if you s if you can see what I'm doing I'm I'm gonna carve this out from the original piece so as you can see this is the original this is the new copied and I'm just gonna carve and then delete so I can get like a small ditch or a play area I call it a play area I like playing <laughs> okay um, yeah our play area is ready now we just have to put some players down well click on entities here entity tool yeah t t uh, entity tool entity yeah and then choose player death match player death match is um yeah player death match is um the terrorist side so you just I'm just gonna put down 10 terrorists down well I can't count so 9 ter 10 terrorists yeah choose o all of them obviously press pressing CTRL so you choose one all of them one by one okay not 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 the player no yeah and then push them a bit up so they're actually they should be actually on top of not adjacent to the floor like not exactly touching the floor or they'll start they they will start you can actually play like that but you'll be stuck on the ground which is something you don't want yeah let them start in the air and now time to put the CT CT spawn player start to CT play player start 5 6 7 8 9 10 yep and then obviously you have to choose all of them and then put them high above adjacent to the other well you have to put them adjacent to the other players yeah now you need a light source without a light source you'll just play in plain darkness you won't be able to see each other you'll probably just shoot random darkness yeah now a light spot is what we need for because we have a sky map well a sky block on top of us 
just place the light bulb obviously when it's a light spot it will be like a, in the shape of a light bulb here and from the side x y z axis just bring it below below the block so you can actually see the light properly right click on right click on the yeah the light spot properties and just scroll down is there's an option is sky you have to choose yes and then the rest you don't have to touch now that is your sky light or your sunlight or whatever you want to call it okay that done um, basically we're ready to go let's just test out the map quickly remember when oh yeah um without without like before testing we go on map map properties and then just description could be anything environment map just call it sky because that's the block sky block the environment block name as soon as we say we'll click that just close the box file run okay we want the file name to be named anything really I can call it five six five three six and then and then obviously save this folder this is RMF folder so this is this is the save file for the map construction or the valve hammer editor map thingy don't know what it's called but yeah just save it and then this is the well this is the options obviously you have to click normals like normal for all of them don't run the game beforehand press ok yeah it's created a map zero seconds elapsed that's quite quickly quite quick quite quick let's close it now D just ignore all of these this is the file you need copy I'll just as I copy it and then I'm going to paste it in the maps folder paste into the maps folder um, yep hello guys and probably go um, I'll just save as save as 536 the reason um, no no I'll just make a new map folder I'll just make a new text folder and just call it I don't know 536 just write anything here and then save it and then put it down here continue yeah now time to test out our our map let's go Alright, three six. That's the one we need. As soon as it passes this mark, it will work. Don't worry. Yep. Now it works. Probably, probably you can see some lag, but I don't experience any lag. And yep, it's working fine. So this is how you make a map. Hope you liked the video. I mean, sorry about the small mix-up. Anyways, hope you like it. Rate, subscribe. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you like it. Take care.